Months after vanishing during the campfire in paradise, this cat showed up alive. And today, a long-awaited reunion. Dexter the cat, joining his family, moved out of state after losing their home. Yeah, CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is in the newsroom with more on this happy homecoming. Angela? Adrian and Curtis, a very sweet reunion today for the cat and his owners. The couple tells us they never stopped thinking about Dexter and say having him back brings a lot of joy and peace to what's been a devastating time. A reunion 102 days in the making. <laughs> Tears and a lot of hugs as Paul and Sandra Ritchie embrace their cat, who just days ago they were certain they would never see again. Today, Dexter is back in their arms after flying from Sacramento to St. Louis. This was the couple's reaction over the phone yesterday as they anxiously awaited his arrival. It's going to be unbelievable. I think I'm going to just stand there and cry and want to hug him. The couple lost their home in November's campfire and in a rush to evacuate could only find three of their four cats. Dexter was still inside the home, but he managed to escape. The windows probably burst out of the house and he was able to get out. The Fieldhaven Feline Center in Lincoln helped bring Dexter back to his family, which was pretty easy thanks to a microchip. Leslie Zalatel was the rescuer who trapped him in the burn zone. He was found about a mile away from his home. And joined the cat on his flight to Missouri today. Surviving the campfire and then living 102 days alone in the burn zone. He's been on quite the journey already. Dexter uh, probably used up a couple lives. I'm not sure how many. And now the campfire cat survivor starts a new one, joining his owners and three feline siblings in their new home. Pretty amazing. Now, hundreds of cats have already been rescued from the fire zone by this organization. 200 are still waiting to be reunited with their families, and we are told that it's possible there could be up to a thousand cats still out there who need to be rescued, guys. Yeah, still wandering out there, missing their families.